Oh, actually, it was the casino stocks. Oh, right. We didn't talk about those. No, actually, I just remembered the short covering rally. Oh, right. That's what it was. That's what it was. See, this actually yeah. very significant. I'm sorry. I'm like, uh, I think I have a problem <laughs> <laughs> mentally. <laughs> I would be texting you later. Um, so th that was what I meant. We, we had pushed down, and then we had a – I mean, this is a pretty violent move. This is $12 off the lows, including a gap. But you notice we didn't go up and go sideways like we did in the other stock. This one, we actually came back down. So that, that was the point that I wanted to make. So the implication is, what was the other stock, Marion? I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> no, we're both getting old. I've been taking notes on this. I can't remember. LinkedIn. What it was LinkedIn. LinkedIn, that's right. So so you see the price action here. This, we, we said very clearly, this was a short covering rally because of the speed of what happened and the fact that it didn't go sideways. But LinkedIn was a little bit more organized, and it's holding the pause. So that's the point that I wanted to make there. So two di and, and, and really, the longer-term implications of setting up the trade, you're going to look at the trade differently. LinkedIn, you would consider it new buying, which is initiating new positions, versus exiting a short sale, which is not initiating a new position, which forecasts the next move in the stock. That was the point that I wanted to make, and I'm glad I remember that while we were still in the meeting. And actually, I think that's a really good point. I've just written this down, and also to take like a grab of those two, just for exclamation explanation when somebody wants to know the difference those are two great charts to explain that yep and, and you know it's interesting because it it sounds like it's the same thing that you know we're rallying off the lows but it's not the implications of the exiting trades versus initiating new trades will absolutely influence what you expect to have next happen next in the stock so it's a really cool thing to learn when you know and then you start to eyeball it you're like all oh, right slow move to the upside off of the lows I, you know i could consider that maybe accumulation buying versus no it was so hard and fast off the lows i'm not you know i'm not looking to get long that's probably just short covering that's not people initiating new trades it's a really cool thing to learn 